All right, everyone, I'm at the Vancouver Auto Show and we have the Toyota Land Cruiser first edition here. And as you guys know, I've talked about this quite a bit, but what I want to do right now is to do a quick uh, comparison of the Land Cruiser versus the Lexus GX. Both are almost identical in many ways, except for the powertrain, but they're based on the same platform, built in the same Tahara factory. And I'm going to do a quick uh, quality check, even though this one is uh, pre-production or prototype model, so a bit unfair to do uh, a real test, but we can get a feel for the quality of these uh, two vehicles. So this one is, you know what, ridiculous. It's 2.9 millimeter gap. I can barely get this thing in. It's 2.5 millimeter, like almost, almost perfect. Let me just double check the other side to make sure that this is not uh, an unusual situation and maybe this side is much wider. It is definitely a little bit wider. It's three millimeter and yeah, three millimeters. So a little bit offset, I think is because it's a prototype and that's why this side is super, super tight in terms of tolerance. But look at the uh, paint job and the panel fit and panel alignment. All the creases line up perfectly. Uh, checking the gap over here is three millimeters. Wow, this is just amazing, amazing quality for a prototype. It's a bit wider here at 3.8. It's usually the case between the front door and the rear door. Uh, and then right here in the back, it's about 3.8 millimeters. But again, look at the gap, look at the alignment, but most of all, look at the paint job. This is the special color for the first edition. At first, I wasn't too crazy about it, but actually, the more I look at it in person, the more I really like it. It's kind of like a mustard yellow metallic paint. It is metallic, it's really good metallic and uh, not too much orange peel in terms of the, the actual paint quality itself and more importantly uh, really good gloss plenty of clear coat and everything looks fantastic this is built in tahara factory which i feel is the best factory in the world and no wonder the quality of the panel fit and finish is all good look at the quality of the plastic as well if you just look at the uh, the actual uh, plastic injection quality, even all the trims, all the fit of the trims, how they tightly they fit against the body. Wow, everything looks absolutely fantastic, as you would expect from a Tahara built, Japan built Land Cruiser. I really like the first edition. Uh, I do have a deposit on one, but not the first edition because it might be impossible to get this one. So I'm going to be buying the kind of normal mid-level mid Land Cruiser in uh, blue, heritage blue with the white top. That would be really wonderful. Uh, so let's just double check quickly the plastic injection, the headlight and the front grille. All the parts looks good. The plastic bumper and the metal pieces match in terms of paint. They're smart enough to put this thing here so you can't even measure the gap. But everything looks absolutely fantastic. Now let's go over to the Lexus GX550. Another vehicle that I'm considering buying because they're both uh, very similar but obviously this one has the 2.4 turbo hybrid versus the gx550 with a twin turbo v6 but let's take a look to see if there are any differences in terms of manufacturing build quality because they are both built in the same factory on the same line all right so i'm now at the lexus gx550 here at the vancouver auto show and i'm going to measure the gap again now keep in mind the design is quite different because in the case of gx the hood kind of goes over the fender a little bit and so it's a little bit of a different design altogether and therefore it's going to be difficult to measure and do a direct back-to-back uh, -back comparison. But this is about 3.9 millimeter here, 3.9. So it's a little bit wider, but this is kind of by design, but perfect alignment. Look at that. Everything's aligned perfectly. It's not so much about the gaps anymore, but more about the fact that I want everything to line up properly. But here is a really good three millimeter between the front fender and front door, uh, 3.8 and 3.2. As you can tell, again, built in Tahara, the paint job looks fantastic. This is a slightly different lighter color compared to the Land Cruiser. So that one is more mustard yellow. This is a more gold-ish color. Both beautiful, actually. Again, it's not my first choice, but the more I look at it, the more I like it, and I think it really stands out as a beautiful model. This is the Lexus GX Overtrail Plus. That's a top of the line off-road model within the GX lineup. And this is the model that I have a deposit in. So who knows whether I'll end up buying Land Cruiser or the GX 550, or maybe I'll end up with both, depending on how things work. 
Um, but let's take a look at the paint job again. Really nice gloss, lots and lots of clear coat. Uh, a lot of metallic in this paint as well. You can see the gloss and the consistency of a clear coat and minimal orange peel which is great because sometimes Toyota and Lexus model have too much orange peel uh, let's take a look at some of the plastic parts the handle is gloss black and this is also gloss black so they're going to get uh, scratched up quite a bit but all the plastic pieces fit really tight look at that there's almost no gap between the fender and then the rear quarter panel and between the plastic and the metal part that's plastic that's metal Look at that gap it's almost no gap at all and color matches which is very difficult to do uh, this is also plastic and you can tell plastic plastic and then metal and the color all matches really well the tail lamp are also really well made you can see the quality here look at how shiny this part looks like all the lettering looks like it's properly glued on to the plastic trim here and even here it thinks line up really well as you can imagine, this being a Lexus, they're going to be a little bit more careful with uh, overall quality compared to the Land Cruiser. Both built in the same factory, in the same lineup, but they're going to make sure that uh, the GX gets an extra inspection and an extra audit to ensure that it has a higher standard and meets higher standard compared to Land Cruiser. But from my perspective right here, just looking at both, uh, they look about the same with the Land Cruiser actually having a slightly smaller gap and slightly better alignment but not much of a difference you know it's probably only a five percent difference between the two and again both are a prototype so depending on the stages of the prototyping this could be an earlier prototype and that land cruiser could be a later prototype and that could uh, reflect on differences in terms of panel fit and panel alignment so it's really interesting to compare the two i think my heart goes to lexus gx550 in terms of uh, purchasing it i think it's a better looking vehicle even though it doesn't have a land cruiser name I really like the interior as well and overall I just like the exterior design of the GX so let's see how that goes once both models become available through allocation I have a feeling that the GX will arrive sometime in summertime and the Land Cruiser later in the year and so whichever comes first is probably the one I'm gonna end up buying but who knows maybe I will be able to get both and trade in two vehicles from my fleet so we will wait and see how things goes and while I'm here I figured maybe I'll do a quick comparison with the Lexus LX. Oh, and in case you didn't know, the LX is actually built in a different factory called the Yoshiwara factory, which is a much lower volume factory. And I know most people think that the Lexus LX factory where the Land Cruiser 300 series is also built is a better factory, but actually it's not. It's equivalent in terms of quality. And for that matter, the the Haro factory is much more automated than the Yoshiwara factory. And therefore, I think the tolerances are tighter on the GX compared to LX. And I'll show you that right now because the gaps are going to be wider here uh, because it's not the, quite the same technology used to manufacture this one compared to GX. Here we go, four millimeter here, four millimeters, nice and flush though, really good alignment. Uh, and about 3.9 here, 3.8 and 4.1 millimeters. So uh, as I predicted, based on my previous audit of this car, the gaps are actually wider than the GX, wider than other vehicles built in the Tahara plant, including the 4Runner, which has almost identical panel fit and alignment as the Lexus GX, mainly because the Yoshiwara factory is an older factory, much more hand-built, less machinery, less automation. And because I've been to all these factories, I can tell you exactly what the differences are, and I find it really intriguing to see the output from these factories right here, and you can see for yourself that there are some differences in terms of panel fit. However, I will say that the paint job on the Lexus LX is better. It's definitely top notch. They have an extra layer, especially on this um, metallic white paint. And so you can see the real thick, thick gloss. I think when I measured it last time, it was about 160 to 180 microns versus about 120 microns in terms of paint thickness. And therefore you can really see this extra layer of the clear coat beautiful paint perhaps one of the best paint job in the world uh, for this Lexus LX uh, also the plastic trims and everything fits really well this is the plastic bumper this is the metal section and you can tell everything fits well the paint matching is really good which is hard to do on a white metallic almost impossible to match it actually but uh, they've done a perfect job of that let's just take a look at the back quickly see how the quality of the plastics are see almost no gap at all look at that the fit is perfect 
the glossy black here looks really good although that one gets scratched up as well and the back also looks fantastic in terms of all the different plastic materials that are on the vehicle so that's a quick check on the lexus lx let me know what you think of the quality comparison of the lexus lx versus the gx versus the land cruiser let me know what you guys think and i appreciate you guys watching my video until next video i'm signing off for now thank you so much